I'm not so sure about this anime. And maybe I have the wrong expectations going forward, right? In episode one, I thought there's going to be some kind of clever hook, some sort of pop-off moment to get the people engaged, but it's looking like this is just kind of wilderness survival simulation, <laughs> right? He's just chilling, he's kind of training, he's foraging, he's building his base, decorating. It's just kind of slice of life, chill times. I think that's what the premise of the anime might be, but maybe there's just not enough time to cook and maybe there's going to be conflict with their other students and... Right now, it's giving me a little bit of vibes from like the anime called Instant Death in terms of just like, you know, other students, you know, fucking with this. But I hope that this anime continues to cook. Let's begin today's reaction. So many different factions. By himself. Alone. <laughs> Alright, other kids are coming in. What are they up to? Because they had a head start compared to us. This ain't it. This ain't it, bro. This is just filler anime. This is filler animation. This is different from what we saw in Dan Dan. Dan. This is pointless animation, does not raise the stakes, does not get my suspense up. In fact, my immersion is broken because of how goofy slow this is. <laughs> it was a rabbit instead. He did not find the main character, it was a rabbit. <laughs> <sighs> Classic villains are just a bunch of coomers. Classic lazy writing. <laughs> Isekai and slavery. Isekai and lollies? Isekai and creepy dudes that are always just rapey. That's just a perfect pairing, bro. Every Isekai anime just has one of these pairs. And Failure Frame is a classic example. I don't give a fuck. I don't care if there is a plot-related reason why they're shitty and rapey. It's the author that created that reason. That is just fucking lazy writing. These villains are not compelling. Lazy. Lazy. Class rap, fuck him up. Tanaka seems to be the Megane that's just getting roped into things and you know what? Villains that are creepy for no reason is lazy writing, but these are creepy kids. High school dumb students that are horny. Makes, makes a lot of sense, actually. Makes a t whole ton of sense. It's like Lord of the Flies now, where these kids have a bunch of powers and they're just off into a different world and there's no rules or regulations. I think it makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> Copyright, can't say Google. Cat. So what are we gonna do as a loner? Save these girls and the creepy dudes? But that's not really our brand. Let's go away. Yeah, that's not our problem. Just get out of here. The more you actively distance yourself and don't want to socialize, the higher that level goes up. What are the benefits with that level, though? The neat level goes up too, maybe. Yeah. His compact skill is fucking crazy for his little, like, sword. Okay. We've created our own little room. Dummy, isn't it? Like, sh fucking, uh... Like a different clone, like a different dummy. When I think dummy, I'm thinking like Naruto, you show shurikens, it get hit, but psych, it was actually a log instead. Six mushrooms at once? Got some protein. 
All right, one weekend. Crunchyroll didn't even fucking adapt that part. Crunchyroll really didn't even adapt this part here, bro. Yeah. And people pay for their services. <laughs> they have a monopoly on distributing anime legally. And this is the quality that we get. That's what happens in capitalism. When there's a monopoly. When there's no competition. There's no incentive to improve your product. They just squeeze you fucking dry. Milk you for everything they got. Their value proposition doesn't even go up. In fact, it goes down. They remove features. They remove products. And make you pay a premium fee. Isn't that amazing? And you wonder why people fucking pirate. Who is it? Oh, goblins! Oh, it's the D&D &D group, bro! The fucking board game, card game players! Yeah, the nerds, the otakus. That's you. Level 16! Whoa! Shinobi! Guard- Yo, let's look at the Sorcerer? A sorcerer is using a, a spear? Okay, maybe he doesn't have the right weapon right now. Saint! Guardian! Okay. They got early dibs and the good shit. Okay, backstory time. Okay! So our classmates are even more OP. Top athletes, A students, just cream of the crop. Then there's, then then there's us. Celebrities, man. Sheesh. I'll be fine. Oh. They're level 16, it's fine. Oh, they did interact once. I don't know what's really happening here. I see Arifurata light novel again. You know, you know this Lonely Life in Another World, they really love Arifurata. Season 3 is also happening at the same time with this show, so... I don't know, maybe they're bros, bro, the authors. So cool! Yo. Yeah. They're good. We're friendly. It's not a socialize anymore. Looks like you're luring them into a trap. Bro, our loner level is gonna go down if we keep hanging out with people like this. Packing OP. It's impressive you did it alone. This is quite the cozy den he has now, man. This is actually so nice. His own set of base. I feel the whole, like, thriving in solitude vibe. Got a nice cozy home base. He gets all the different foods he wants except fish. He needs to get better fish. What's happening, man? Bullying? On the run? What happened? That's what they were looking for? The other group of bullies we saw in the earlier scene? They were looking for these guys, maybe? Yeah, the whole class got ported together except us. Yeah, Baldi God. I shouldn't be laughing. This is actually the default emotion that any normal person would feel if they got summoned like this. For sure they would. The gals! The gals don't give a fuck though, bro. The gals are standing on business! But the normie girls, you know, they're, they're just a bunch of little softies. The jocks. <laughs> yeah. The isekai enthusiast, the consumers of isekai, knows what to do. These fucking normies are clueless, bro. Yeah. Uh -oh. And that's why they got that Takada guy. I forget, the guy with the glasses that were being used by them because they have no understanding of how isekai, like, would work. Wow! They want some fish. Purple hair girl's pretty funny. Monsters might come out. Goblin! Oh no! More goblins! Oh, 
They're so cute but menacing. <laughs> Bro, what is this backseating right now? <laughs> Arka is literally just backseating all of these. Like, you fucking noobs. <laughs> oh, the bullies are a bunch of pussies. <laughs> True? Look at that. Look at that. Look at the otaku group, bro. They're sick. They're high. Look. <laughs> they already have their class, their weapons. The skills are ready to go. Everyone's pissing their fucking pants. Nah. The true Giga Chad's in the classroom. Yeah. <laughs> Peak animation. <laughs> The jocks. All right, the jocks helped out. Nice. So far, the otaku group and then jock group, they're chill. The, the delinquent group, they fucking suck. The girls, it's a mix. I like the gals, though. They seem very confident in themselves. The other ones, they're kind of all over the place and just crying. I did like the one that just said, I want some fish. <laughs> Okay. I guess the tents were part of her package. How do they have survival knowledge? I guess survival knowledge is kind of chuny and cringe too. That's what like a normie would you do, but like some some otaku is like obsessed about it. Alright. Fish. Yeah, the cat. These two are very interesting. I think this is gonna be like the cute and funny duo right here. The food glutton and this one just wants to get naked and take clothes off for some reason. Uh oh, betrayal, backstabbing. What happening? The gals. Alright, it's a bunch of stuck-up little bitches. They ain't gonna fucking put in the work. Princesses can't bother to get their nails all dirty, right? Alright, bye. The group is falling apart. So, like, what are you gonna do? What is your, like, survival kit gonna be? You're just gonna be homeless? You're just gonna wander around? Okay. The delinquents are out too. Oh no. The group is falling apart. <sighs> and that is just reality, man. Monkeys. Bunch of idiots. Cannot be united. Everyone, due to their own selfish interest, will just fight amongst themselves. And the monkeys will now be isolated and alone. Fuck them. Just human nature. <laughs> you could also blame it on the class rep. Although it's a bit mean and unfair. If she truly was a charismatic figure that everyone had the utmost confidence in, I bet that they wouldn't have let this happen. Like, it's unfair to place the blame on her, but if there was a true Giga Chad ruler that could just unite everybody, like, she has no aura. Yeah, she has no confidence. She's a little bit too soft. <laughs> Otaku group, let's go! They're gonna stay? So, I thought they were like wandering off somewhere else doing their own thing. If that's, if that's, the fault, if that's what they were doing, I'd be like, alright, that's fair, I guess. You, you guys do whatever you want. But they're just gonna chill at our base. While we collect and do everything for them, fuck that! Fuck that! They suck! I guess they get the EXP now. Wait, what? There's Charm and Puppeteer. There's pu who are these people that has this? Of course. Of course the piece of shits are gonna pick <laughs> the creepy weird skills. Of course they would. Oh my god. 
And they've gotten pretty strong themselves now. Yeah, look at that weapon, bro. The guy in the middle's weapon just looks very busted and OP. Look at that shit. That's not a beginner's weapon. They have a harem plan. Project harem. Because <laughs> they're classic stupid. They're just stupid. They're dumb, horny, shitty kids. It makes a lot of sense. It's very realistic, actually. Again, just like Lord of the Flies, right? A bunch of kids off onto an island with their own sp special powers. They're going to start power tripping. There's no rules. Who's going to force them, right? Who's going to, like, check in on them? Nobody. Of course they're going to do this. <laughs> you know, I'm noticing a pattern of behavior in shows like this, where the setup is classroom summoned and main character separated from the class. I care way more about the whole class politics and, like, what's going on with them. Last episode was just like, okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. He's just doing random stuff. Slice of life. This episode is juicy fucking drama. Like, this is the good shit. Like, I'm way more into this show now because now we're getting, like, the backstory of, like, what's going on with the other class. Or, like, our class. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, this is the charm guy and this is the puppeteer guy. What, what is this? Are you flexing on me right now? Is that a muscle pose? Bodybuilder pose? <laughs> Bruh. Oh? Who did it? Then Otaku's seal. Let's go, Otaku group. I didn't know you have a seal. They they literally sealed Puppeteer and Charm away. That's pretty fucking OP. The gals. Even the gals. I don't even want to look down on you. Get lost. All right, the gals all over all over the place, bro. They're like super hot, so I'm like, whoa, let's go gal group! They didn't want to participate and get their hands dirty. Okay, lazy bitches. But now they're back of like admonishing the delinquents. I'm like, whoa, let's go gals! But they're back. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> they ran away. And then I guess they went to bed. And then now they're striking. Like, like, I don't know, like an hour later. Okay, I think they're back in their tents. Let's attack them. Oh, damn! They're trying to actually kill! No, our tents, bro! And I don't think people here are self-sufficient enough to create these tents again, right? These tents were given to us through those, like, set packages when you start off. Wah, wah. Shut the f okay, I'm out. This is a roller coaster with the gals. It's like up down, up down now. Oh my god. You didn't do shit either. Oh, I hate them. I hate them so much. They need to suffer as well. They, they, they're, they're, they're no better than a delinquent group. But they, they're just hot girls. That's it. They're trash personalities. Bunch of fucking simps. Bunch of loser weak will simps that sees their favorite girls admonishing the otaku group and just being peer pressured to go along with it. They all fucking suck. Class rep? Please, class rep. Class rep. Yeah, honestly? Fuck him, bro. Straight up. I don't care about him. We're carrying this camp. Fuck him. Let's leave and do our own thing. <laughs> yeah they have I love again I love this whole backstory I just love the whole class interaction the politics the the diplomacy at play who's the good group bad group what's happening this is fucking juicy so now the otaku group has basically just left and I'm not sure if they're gonna join us we can't even make a party due to our unique like loner neat thing going on, but I'm sure they're gonna be like a friendly group that we can work together sometime. So, so 
Enough mushrooms, please. Please. I need some actual protein. Stop. I don't want to eat mushrooms anymore. It's a kinoko party. Oh. Oh. No. No, no more kinoko. Bye, guys. We, we gave them extra mushrooms. Both bags are full of mushrooms. Oh, that's right. We haven't even met like the local population in the show yet, right? Like, does a guild exist? Other adventurers? Currently, it feels like we're just kind of in this forest by ourselves. But there must be other, you know, actually like native isekai characters here somewhere around too. あ、確かにだとは。いや、アリフレタライトノベルズ。ノー。だがことある。ししし。Look <laughs> 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 Okay, random encounter. Oh shit. Their previous campsite. Wonder what everyone else is doing now. What's this? What the hell? You can trace it? OP. Gals! Yeah, the bane of any Sigma male. <laughs> Hot girls. Oh no, they're intimidating me with their looks and charms, but I need to prove to them that I don't need them. I'm an independent man, I don't need no woman. What? Go away! Based. Based. No! No, don't fall for it! No! They got a fucking leech off of us! You know they're trying to get a new sugar daddy to fucking leech off of! No! Go away! Look at this. They literally oust the Oda group, which is the otaku group. And now they realize they made a mistake. Without them, nothing gets done. And now you're trying to get back. Fuck off! Mm -hmm. Is this name actually not Oda, but Ota, other than Otaku? This is supposed to be Otaku and it's the association he's making, or did they actually fuck his name up the entire time? Even the class rep called them Oda. Have they been messing up his name the entire time? I'm not really sure. This could be the Ota as part of Otaku, or maybe his true name is Ota and he's just been misnamed the entire time. That's sad. Either or, that's fucking sad. <laughs> God, they suck. Oh! This is so crazy. They're bipolar. They're bipolar. <laughs> it just keeps going good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. They want to apologize. <laughs> no. They're, they're, they're way too volatile. I don't care if they want to they wanna apologize. They're way too volatile. This is a liability. I do not want to deal with it. You know they're going to fucking backstab us later on too. No. Go away. Go away. Good. They're going to the town. They're going to become... No. Yeah, by yourselves. No. You can't do anything. Whoa! My man has a bit of a Takano Jutsu based lecturer skill, man. He's confronting them of like, can you do anything by yourself? You gonna give up now? Damn. This is what a true leader should be like. Yes, literally more aura than the class rep. The class rep's a bit too much of a pushover and too soft. This is how you should be like commanding the audience. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, they're cute and funny. Ugh. I don't. Are we done with the roller coaster? If you're fine with apologizing and move forward, I'll accept you. But if you're just gonna backstab us later on, oh, I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> I'm
We have a harem. We have now unlocked the temporary harem. We're gonna teach them how to be self-sufficient and then they'll make it out of the forest. <laughs> Are they on their knees looking up, bro? Are they literally on their knees looking up to him right now? <laughs> Subjugate. We just subjugated the gals. They're ours now? <laughs> like they're our property, kind of? Because a skill literally takes possession of other things. So, I, I, I don't know. I, I, he did say yeah, and the subject ain't opened up. Oh. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to bother remembering their names. It's Gal Leader and Gal A and Gal D. Where is Gal B and C? What happened to Gal, B, and C? We just skipped from A to D. Look at this party, bro. We got a meet and three gals. They're like, mind control? It is weird. <laughs> They've actually devolved from humans to like regular monsters. They're just like completely obedient. They'll do whatever we want. This is really fucked up, but funny. Oh, they, I, I'm like, are they gonna lick this wound? What's gonna happen? You wasted a potion! The look in their eyes is actually terrifying. Something is very off here. Last rep! Yo! Enough mushrooms! True Sigma male. A true high value Sigma. <laughs> Can't believe I'm fucking saying this. Shrigma male, dude. Sh sh mushroom, shmegma male. No, this is getting weird now. A true Sigma is too busy pondering in their own thoughts, man. Trying to think of what to do next. This woman. Ignored. <laughs> what do you want, woman? End. No, not yet. Delinquents. Yo, that sword, though. Main delinquent sword is... That sword, man. Look. Off with their heads. And that's today's episode. I can now say I am invested into the show. First episode, it was kind of interesting. The different roster of skill sets, but us collecting all the kind of quote unquote useless ones and just venturing off into this unknown and doing our thing. It was all right, but it was nothing really special to get me hooked on. Now I'm all in. The different classmates, the interactions between different groups, and now basically the delinquents are being creepy as hell. We have subjugated the gals. The otaku group has gone into the city to become like joining the guild members and Things are only looking great from here on out. I am so down to watch the rest. Hopefully the other episodes are just as entertaining. And that's it for me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.